Hey all, welcome back to the kitchen for another edition of Tank Top Cooking, man. You guys are gonna, you're gonna like this one. Okay, man, right on. Good stuff. Well, hey, here's some stuff that you're gonna want to grab for what we're doing here. Grab yourself some hamburger, man. About a oh a pound or so. You know what? Maybe another little meat source. I'm throwing in a little piece of steak from last night. Why not? Okay, in vegetable part, my man. Grab yourself a, a ball pepper here. Green would be great here, but if you've ever watched my uh, vids, man, it's all about improvisation. So I'm going yellow, man. Grab yourself some celery, tomato, some some frozen corn, an onion. Grab yourself some uh, some garlic. Okay, right on. And mushrooms, man. We can't forget mushrooms. You need mushrooms. Okay, right on. Good stuff. Okay, now uh, grab yourself some kidney beans, right? Dark kidney beans. Okay, grab two cans of that. Grab yourself some, uh, oh, some chili powder, some parsley flakes, some black pepper, some salt. You know what would also be great with oregano, but hey, man, you know what we're going with? We're going with crushed red pepper, man. Right on. Good stuff. Hey, man, and it, you, you know, tomato paste, puree, right? Hey, if you only got one can, you know what? Hey, ketchup. It's just the same stuff, pretty much. Right on. Shh. Just a little bit of hot sauce. Oh yeah, man. And despite what your mom says, grab yourself a, a beer, man. I'm going with a, a Budweiser. Oh yeah, a Canadian Budweiser. Okay, right on, eh? Okay, good stuff. All right, man, okay, sounds good. What you gonna wanna do here is take that uh, hamburger, pop her on medium heat, and just put that in a skillet here because what we're going to do is brown that up, drain off the grease, and then carry on from there, man, right on. Okay, another thing here. Grab yourself a little three, four cloves of garlic. Show you a little, little trick, man. If you don't have a garlic press, get yourself a knife. Boom. Hey, look, there you go. Just saved you guys like... Go oh, five bucks. All right. And I would say probably put in, oh, geez, three or four cloves of garlic. I'm going with four here. Just press that up. And same deal here. Uh, chop yourself up some mushrooms here. Oh. Probably, I don't know, maybe half cup or so. Keep breaking your meat apart here on medium heat. This is probably going to take, oh geez, probably oh, six or seven minutes and then we're going to drain it off. Okay, gr gr grab yourself a strainer, okay? Right on. And then, uh, yeah, another thing here. Grab yourself a coffee tin, man. I'll show you a little, 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 little handy little trick, man. Okay, right on. Here's what we're going to do, man. We're going to grab the strainer, grab your coffee tin underneath here because you don't want no no grease down the drain. That is not cool. And, yeah. And then just take that uh, hamburger, pour that over your strainer with your catcher, which we're using that coffee tin, because they work awesome, my friends. Oh yeah, okay, cool, right on. Good stuff. Just let that drain off. Oh, right on. Oh, hey, man, if I didn't mention, uh, grab yourself a slow cooker, okay? I'll wait for you. You can go run down to Wally World or wherever and grab one, okay? Okay, you're, you're probably back now, okay, good. Okay, cool, right on. Well, just take your hamburger. Oh yeah, toss that in there. Just pop your onions and your mushrooms in there. And that garlic, oh yeah. Chop up, oh geez, both. Oh, half a cup of celery. Maybe about, oh, four stalks or so. Okay, right on. Now, another thing you're going to want is a ball pepper. Okay, now. Green would be ideal if you want to be all traditional and whatnot here. But you know what? Man, I've used orange. I've used... Orange is actually really good if you, if you go with orange. You know, 
gives it a little bit of a different taste. Yellow's not bad. You know, red's pretty damn good too. So, you know, doesn't really much matter. But, yeah, I'm going with the yellow. About, oh, it's not a huge cheap one. It's about, oh, half a cup or so. Okay, man, right on. Another thing I always do here is grab yourself a tomato or two. Okay? Like, I like throwing in a couple tomatoes or like real, real tomatoes, man. Right on. Okay, I'm just going with a, one, 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 one small tomato there. Okay? That'll, that'll work. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Same stuff, guys. Toss those in there. Oh, yeah. Okay, right on. You're probably going to want, oh, geez, maybe a cup of corn, a half cup, three quarters, whatever your fancy is. Oh, yeah. Toss some corn in there. Okay. Well, that's probably about a cup ish. Okay, and then this is a pretty good little idea to do this, man. It's throw in, like, I don't know, some Italian sausage or whatever, just a little bit of something a little different, just to kind of mix up the taste a little bit. But what I'm doing myself is we had some steaks last night. Oh man, Jesus, it was awesome. Right on. Okay, but I'm just going to kind of cube up a little steak here that we didn't didn't finish last night and toss her in there, man. Okay, cool guys, right on. And then grab yourself your chili powder. This one here, you know what? I do kind of get a little specific here. So what you're going to want is about, oh, a half tablespoon. And the reason being, I like being more specific on this. It's because if you get carried away, it gets a little too spicy, and then people go, hey, it's a little too spicy. So, about a half a tablespoon in there. Okay, now what you're going to want on this guy is about, oh, half a teaspoon of salt, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but I would go a little bit less. About the same. Black pepper, okay. Parsley flakes, you're probably gonna want about a half a teaspoon. Maybe a little more, a little less. But you know, don't wanna get too carried away, right? Okay, now some oregano would be acceptable. But you know what? We're using crushed red pepper, man. Ooh, yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna eyeball it. But I would say about a half a teaspoon is what you're going after on that. Okay, and then grab yourself your kidney beans. You're gonna wanna have two cans of dark kidney beans, red kidney beans. Okay, and then what you're gonna wanna do is throw one boom in there with the liquid. Okay, and then we're gonna throw in another one here, but drain off the liquid. So that's one with liquid, one without. Okay, now some uh, tomato paste or puree if you want to be all fancy about it. Probably want two cans. Okay, that's what you want. They're all good. Okay, little tip. This works just fine. Ketchup. You only got one can kicking around. Throw a little bit of ketchup in there. You're good. Okay. Now, here's another thing we don't want to get carried away with as well. Is oh, just a little bit. Hot sauce. Oh yeah. Load. About an eighth of a teaspoon, but hey, if you like it a little bit more spicy, throw on a little bit more. Okay, right on, and then grab that beer. Okay, right on. No, don't drink it just yet here. Grab a couple of those here, you luscious. Toss this in here. Ooh, yeah. Toss a good full beer in there. Okay, and then once you got this in your slow cooker here, just stir it nice and... 
you know, get everything mixed up here. Plug in your slow cooker. Right on. Okay, right on. Put her on oh low. Cover it up. Boom. See you in eight hours. You might want to check it and just, you know, make sure there's a little liquid in there here. Every now and again here. Maybe throw in a little bit of water, beef broth, or a little bit more beer or whatever you like here. Plug in your slow cooker. Right on. Okay, right on. Put her on. Oh, low. Cover it up. Boom. See you in eight hours. Grab yourself a ladle here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be hot. I didn't add any more, didn't have to add any, any, anything else as far as liquids go. Like I was saying, no liquids added, just that one beer and what you seen I put in. Alright man, grab yourself a piece of toast, some grated cheese, throw some grated cheese on there, oh yeah, grated cheese. And then, what I'm going to do here... Pop some sour cream on top. All right, let's give this a go now. Probably gonna be thermal nuclear, but hey. Mmm. Man, it's good. It's hot. Mmm. Let me try dip, dip some bread in. Man, do it like that. It's good, man. Mm. Oh, I have a little bit of that steak in there. Mm. So tender. Bread right on. Thanks for watching. You know cooking videos, once, twice a week, okay, and I'm uh, not exactly sure, they'll probably be like, oh, Wednesdays and Fridays or something like that, man. So right on, chilling in a slow cooker, there you have it, right on, thanks for watching, you guys be cool.